In this video, we're gonna take you through configuring your TP-Link modem eWAN service configuration. First thing you're gonna need is one of these. Make sure it's plugged into the wall and the power is on. You should see a solid green light for the power icon. Plug your modem router into the optical network terminal or network termination device or fiber box using an ethernet cable. The port might also be labeled as LAN slash WAN, WAN slash LAN 4 or internet. Underneath the modem is the SSID and Wi-Fi password. Use this to locate the Wi-Fi name on your computer and then join the network. Now, don't worry. When you successfully join the network, it will say no internet secured. This is because we haven't configured or set it up yet. Open the internet, browse on your computer or phone and type in 192.168.1.1. You can also check the bottom of the modem for the correct IP address if that doesn't work. You'll be prompted for a username and password. Ready for it? Username in lowercase is admin. Password in lowercase is admin. You can also check the bottom of the modem. In fact, when in doubt, that's the best place to look. If you see this interface, select advanced, select operation mode, select wireless router mode, apply save. If your modem prompts you to reboot the device, please click to reboot. Go to basic and select internet. Leave VLAN ID unchecked, internet connection type dynamic IP, and if you come across different settings, please leave them in default. Click save and it should take two to four minutes to go online. Please test the service once done.